In this experiment, we will be neutralizing a basic solution by adding an acidic solution. What you will need to have is red cabbage indicator, baking soda solution, dilute acidic acid, sheet white A4 paper, six test tubes or small glasses or, a bo or balls, three five ml syringes and a test tube rack if you are going to be using test tubes. Okay, so for the indicator that we have to make, we have to have red cabbage. I'll be cutting it up in small pieces, but I won't be using the whole one, only about half of it. Afterwards, I will place it in distilled boiling water until it has cooled down completely. Okay, so the red cabbage and water has cooled down completely. I will be using the masher to completely squeeze out all the juices out of the cabbage. Okay, I think that should be enough. And now I will be pouring out the liquids through a sieve into another jar. So I've mashed the cabbage um, and it, it looks like it should be fine now. It's a nice uh, reddish purplish color. And I will be uh, pouring it out into a sieve um, into the jar. Because all I'm going to be using is the liquid, the nice purple liquid, as my indicator. Okay, I was making a little bit of a mess, so I just uh, have this bowl underneath the jar. There we go. Okay, that's our indicator. It's a nice reddish purpley solution and we'll just place this one side and continue with the rest. So for our acidic solution, our vinegar solution, we will be pouring 90 ml distilled water into this measuring beaker. And 30 ml of the vinegar and that should give us a total of 120 ml. This we will also place to the side for now and then we'll use it in the experiment later on. For the baking soda solution, we have 90 ml distilled water and we will pour a half of a teaspoon bake baking soda into the water and mix it well. This will then be our basic solution.
Okay, so the preparation for our experiment is done and dusted. We have the red cabbage indicator, the baking soda solution, and the vinegar dilute solution. Our baking soda solution will serve as our basic solution and our vinegar solution will serve as our acidic solution. Furthermore, what we need is a white A4 piece of paper, six test tubes, or I'm using these little glasses, three five ml syringes. If you are using test tubes, you might just want to use a test tube rack as well. First thing we need to do is to number the test tubes from A1 to A6. Next, we have to take our syringes and mark the one as our indicator, another one as our basic, and the last one as our asset. This is how I did it. I marked the one with an I for indicator, the other one that's marked with a B is for the base, and then the last one is A, that is for our asset. The next step for us is to take our basic solution, our baking soda solution, and to pour 5 milliliters of that into each glass or test tube. Then we will take our indicator syringe and pour 2 milliliters of our indicator into each test tube or glass. After completing that step, let's just first take a look at the aim for this experiment before we move on. So the aim is to determine what volume of acid is required to neutralize a certain volume of base, if the concentration remains the same. Because we are using a red cabbage indicator, the colors will differ from the pH scale that we are used to. So our acids will be more of a pink reddish color, our neutrals will be a purple bluish color and our bases will be a greenish yellow color. So in this case we have our bases with our indicator which is a bluish greenish color. We want to get it more of a blue purplish color. So for this step we will take our acid syringe and take about 5 ml of the acidic solution and carefully drop the solution into each of the test tubes. We will wait about 30 seconds between each drop or, e or each second or third drop until my solution went from a blue greenish color to a more blue purplish color. Okay, it feels like we've reached our desired color. Um, it is like a little bit of a bluish purplish color. Maybe later we'll add more of the solution. But just for now, let's just see how much of the solution we used. I filled the syringe with five milliliters of the acidic solution. And as you can see, we've used about two milliliters of the solution. I think a little bit more. Um, because there's only three milliliters left, maybe a bit less than three milliliters. So I'll be doing the same for each test tube from A2 to A6. To save time, I'll, uh, I'll immediately pour two milliliters of the solution into each glass and then I'll check afterwards if I need to maybe add more in order for us to reach the same color as A1. Look carefully, 
as I pour in the acidic solution, you'll see bubbles form. This is just a reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar. In A2, I saw that I had to pour a little bit more than 2 ml because it was not completely the same color as A1. This could just be because I maybe pour a little bit too less or too much of the basic solution at the beginning, which is exactly the reason why we do this test 6 times, to make sure that our conclusion will be correct at the end. So here we've reached a neutral state in each of these glasses. Some of them might be a little bit darker than the others. In other words, they could be a little bit more neutral than the others. But all of these are basically neutral. Just for interest sake, I would like to show you what happens if we pour too much of the acidic solution into one of these glasses. I'll just be using the last glass to show you this effect. So the fact that it has turned into more of a light purple tells me that it is turning into more of an acid. It's on its way closer to the pinkish color of the acids. If we carry on like this it will turn into more of a reddish orange color but my glass is a little bit too small for that so we'll just stop it there. And that's our basic solutions that are now neutralized. So we used 5 ml of the basic solution and 2 ml of the indicator and then to neutralize it we used about 2 to 3 ml of the acid solution. Let's just try and add one ml of the acidic solution to see if maybe we could get it more to a neutral color. So it looks like it turned into more of a bluish purplish color. That's why I said um, to neutralize this basic solution, we use two to three ml of the acidic solution. In some of the glasses it was a little bit more, in some of the other glasses it was a little bit less. Again, why do we do this experiment six times? To be able to calculate an average value and to minimize the effect of human error and inaccuracy. Okay, so we are only human and we do make mistakes. How will you be able to see that there is too much acid in the glasses? Firstly, you'll see by the color of the indicator. The color of the indicator will turn red, pink or purple. Explain what is meant by neutralization. It is when precisely enough base is added to precisely enough acid. Let's also have a look at the word equation of this reaction. So it's acid and metal carbonate makes metal salt and water and carbon dioxide. It is on the screen for you guys. And what can we conclude from this experiment, our conclusion, is that when precisely enough base is added to precisely enough acid, neutralization takes place. Too much acid or base will cause the product to not be neutral but acidic or basic depending on which substance is in excess. So if I add too much of the acidic solution, your product will be acidic. If you add too much of the basic solution, your product will be base. Okay, that's the experiment that we did today. I hope that you learned something from it.